Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, yesterday, you, you know, I, I, I wish uh, the Lord's gonna help us today. I, I just wish I continued yesterday and just, just, you know, just. But you know what? See, open your heart to what the Spirit of God is doing. Open it. Don't become stagnant with what you have known. What you have known is good. But may not take you into the gate that you're about to enter. See, the children of Israel all died in the wilderness except Caleb and Joshua. Why? Because of what they knew. And they refused to open their hearts to what God is doing and saying next. They rejoiced in what God did to them in Egypt. Because they saw miracles in Egypt before Moses came. Oh, they saw miracles in Egypt. Because in Goshen, Goshen was a place of favor. But that was not God's best for them. So God came and said, look, I'm taking you to the promised land. And some said, ah, I think we're okay, we're fine here. Ah, okay, well, we'll go, we'll have to go. And then they left. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish I remember my garlic. I remember my garden. I remember my cucumber. I remember when I was walking and making, you know, they were paying us. I, I, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? And then I say, look, the land. There are giants in the land. Yes, but God has given us the land. Please, 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 please. Have you fought giants before? No. Ah, you want to go and fight? Ah, I don't think I want to go and fight. Too. Ah, hmm, giants, imagine giants. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, 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 please. And God said, since they couldn't believe, they kept going in circles until they began to die one after the other, die one after the other, die one after the other, till a new generation came who could believe God. <clears throat> so don't be part of the old generation that cannot believe God. That's what I was explaining to you, what I was explaining yesterday. He is putting all things under his feet and, and one after the other he is putting them one after the other he is putting them we've seen him put put poverty under the feet of jesus yes he's done that are you saying there are no christians that are still poor you see yes but you know they don't believe see, let me tell you this is this is how it works they don't believe in poverty you hardly find christians who believe in poverty you know what I mean by that? Who rejoice in poverty. Rather, you, you find Christians who are hoping that God will increase them. God, you know, you understand what I'm saying? So, so that's the hope now. But it wasn't so before. Yes, yeah, several years ago. Several years ago, if you buy a car, you become a sinner. Bro, oh, you have joined them. What did you do? Bought a new shirt. No, 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 no. Go, go, go buy, you know what we call in this place, bend down, select. That is, that is, the, that is, that is how you show holiness unto God. As a woman, you can't dress up and tie one heavy, hey, Sister Jane, she's becoming an unbeliever. What did she do? Hmm. If you see the headgear she wore today, hmm. Hey, she, hey, we, we, I'm telling you the truth Christians will gather and begin to fast and pray for you why? because poverty was reigning over them so they saw everything through the eyes of poverty but God had delivered the church and I told you how he did it he sent his word hallelujah the same thing he's done with sickness it doesn't mean Christians are not still being sick today but you see they believe in healing now more than they did before before they couldn't even see healing and I told you yesterday he's doing the same thing about now to governments of nations governments authority on the earth He's doing it now. And then with it, man, tobre decade. And that's the big one. See, the Bible talks about the sons of Issachar, men who understood the time and knew what Israel ought to do. 
In the same way, he is bringing death. No, he said it. He said it here. Death will be the last one. Mandu braka shakatala braka dia. He is bringing death under the feet of Jesus. We will not begin to look at things from the eyes of death anymore. Oh, oh broko shi gaga. You see, the same way today, people are believing that I, 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 I shouldn't be sick. I'm, sh I'm not going to be sick. I sh it is wrong for me to be sick. It's the same way people are going to begin to, you will begin to hear that happen. Why should I die? I shouldn't die. It is wrong for me to die. <laughs> it's God. Ah, what are you talking about? See, that's why I said, come out of that bondage. Death is a spirit. And how do you how do you know death holds you captive? And, and oh she bradi kaka shukadi. How do you know death has you captive? I'll tell you. Look at your life and try to imagine how far you can think in life. Age-wise now. How far can you think in life? Maybe you're 50 today. Maybe you're 70 today. How far can you think? 80, 90, 100, 120. Yes, there's 120 written in the scriptures. After 120, oh man, I think I better go. Go to where? Go to where? And say, okay, now I better go. Yes, no problem, you better go. So, where are you going to? Eh, death now. So, at the end of your looking, all you see is death. Can, can you get what I'm saying? How far you can see when you look at the future. For you, what you see at the end is death. And that's to tell you that death is reigning over you. It is not supposed to be so. So then what am I supposed to see? Jesus. Oh, 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 oh you didn't know? Jesus. You are supposed to look and see Jesus. Jesus. What do you mean by that? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll be looking at Jesus and I'll keep my gaze on him. As long as he's telling me what to do, I'll keep doing it. As long as he's telling me what to do, I'll keep doing it. I get up to 100, he's telling me what to do, I'll keep doing it. I get up to 120, he's telling me what to do, I'll keep doing it. I get up to 150, I'll keep doing it. So won't you get tired? I told you before, as long as he is telling me what to do, I'll be receiving the strength to do it. I say, um, so what, what are you trying to say? Are you going to live up to, listen, a day can come when Jesus is going to say, son, come over to this side. <laughs> and, and, and then I, I'm not going to say, okay, so where is death now? No, 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 no. I'm going to say, Jesus, where is that chariot that came to pick you? And that same chariot that came to pick Elijah. Oh, 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 you don't know? <laughs> now, you're looking at me. Oh, 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 what's he saying? What's he saying? Oh, let the Lord open your eyes. Let him open your understanding. And stop looking at death in your future. Why? Because the Lord is already making his wisdom. That's where it does. He sends his word. He sends his word. And he's not saying anything new. Every, for example, when God began to raise preachers who began to speak against the spirit of poverty, they didn't bring any new thing. It was all written in here. Now, what's going on? For example, we read about Martin Luther. You know, he, he found something in scripture. Now, not, not the black Martin Luther, the, the, the real Martin Luther. You know, he found, he was, he was a priest. But he found something in scripture that was not in line with what they were doing in their day. So he saw that the just, it was written that the just shall live by faith. And he began to look at it and meditate on it and, and began to ask himself, oh, what does it say? The Holy Ghost opens his understanding. And he, he looked around and said, this is not like the just shall live by faith. This is not like the just shall live. No, Lord, something is wrong here. 
And then as the Lord opened his understanding, he began to preach it. He began to preach it. They rose up against him then. He continued preaching it. Oh, oh, the whole government of the church gathered against him. He continued preaching it. He continued preaching it. And guess what? The fire began to burn. It began to burn. And, and it spread all around. That's how God does his work. He wanted to bring them out of darkness. He sent his word. It's the same thing he's doing today. Question, will you receive it and run with it? Or will you be among those who will be saying, what is he trying to say? Is he trying to say that? If you say that, if you be that way, you will join the passing generation. You will not see it. Blessed are those whom have not seen, yet believe. That doesn't mean we should just believe anything. Hey, hey. That's why I said, go before the Lord and say, Lord, what's this thing all about? I want to hear. What's it all about? And the Holy Spirit will open your understanding in ways that you never imagined. You turn to the left, you hear him telling you, you know, you know, that's what the scripture means. You turn to the right, you know, that's what the scripture You'll be so full of it and you're like, what's going on? How come no one has preached this thing? It is God. Question. You know, Jesus turned to Mara, Martha. He, he was talking to Mara. When Lazarus died, he said to Mara, hey, Martha, I am. You know, he, he said to her, your brother will rise again. And she said, yes, I know. On the day of resurrection, he will rise. And Jesus said, uh, Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Right? He said to Mara, hey, Martha, I am. You know, he, he said to her, your brother will rise again. And she said, yes, I know. On the day of resurrection, he will rise. And Jesus said, uh, Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, Though he is dead, he will rise again. Your brother will rise to life. I know that he will rise to life on the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will live, even though they die. And he that believes in me and is alive will not die. He asked her that question. Do you believe this he did that on purpose praise god and those who live and believe in me will never die do you believe this i said huh we will come to understand it. That, that's just what she said praise god you know but what's jesus saying she said you know he said your brother will rise again she said i know on the day of resurrection. Where did he get where did she get that from? Jesus had taught them. But Jesus said, uh -uh, matter, 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 matter. On that day of resurrection, how is he going to rise? It is me that is going to call him to rise. I want you to catch this now. I am standing here right now. That's what he was saying to her. He said, Matter, I am the resurrection. And the life. Oh, baye, kalo, parakashi. Nikobarite, zikita. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Glory. Ha, libra shantana kradiko. Listen. <laughs> Jesus said, I am the resurrection. I am also the life. Which one do you need? <laughs> those who die shall be resurrected. And those who live shall live the life. He that has understanding or he that has an ear to hear, let him hear. What the Spirit is saying. Glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. We go into this weekend full of the Holy Ghost. Full of your anointing. Full of your Spirit, Lord. We are not relenting in our faith and trust in you. Hallelujah.
Oh, we open our hearts, Lord. Every good thing that you have prepared for us, we don't slack in any one of it, but our hearts receive every one of them. And we confess indeed that in us, death will be put under your feet, which is also our feet, because we are your body. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is being made manifest before our eyes and through us that the world will see and know that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your name. And I bless everyone, everyone who's paying attention to those words. And there's a fulfillment in them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Man, have a beautiful weekend. I'll see you on Monday. This is Atuba Judge. God bless you with all his truths. Amen. Bye-bye.